Beerus, you are a problem that I'm gonna vent about. With my gun loaded up, I'm ready to take my first shot at Manga Beerus. The one version of Beerus everyone tends to use against me whenever I tend to mention that Beerus is a never stopping goalpost. And they immediately tell me how Manga Beerus is the true Beerus in the sense that Manga Beerus is the most powerful version. Hence, it makes sense that it's gonna be a wall that Goku just can't climb. Even though their clash almost destroyed the whole entire universe, which is that at the end of the fight, Beerus remarks that was a good fight. And previously, we got the my and at that moment when Vegeta went max power, we saw him swiftly surprise Beerus, which Beerus did sigh, so that kind of signified to us that Beerus was very much underwhelmed, which is fair. At that current point in the story, it would not make sense for Vegeta to be on par with Beerus. So then we continue on. Super Saiyan God gets introduced. We see that Beerus enjoys the fight. Then we get introduced to Super Saiyan Blue. Then of course, we keep going and going in the manga. Super Saiyan Blue, full power. And then Ultra Instinct. And then Master Ultra Instinct. And then Perfected Ultra Instinct. And then we get Ultra Instinct mixed with his emotions that is to say all of these power-ups all these new forms and yet beerus can still say that i can recommend you as a god of destruction candidate when you are near my level see that specifically writes me the wrong way how are you telling me goku the man who surpassed gods and gods and other gods is still not on your level how far is your ceiling where is your ceiling can i even see your ceiling is beerus in the tier where it's unattainable for any mortal to ever reach him because that's what i'm thinking dragon ball was created with the firm purpose that we could understand the villain's power we can understand how close our hero is to eventually getting to surpass them we understand in dragon ball z frieza was on this unattainable power super saiyan closed the gap even surpassed frieza with cell we saw the gap between goku and perfect cell then super saiyan 2 gohan came in out of nowhere with Beerus now. Super Saiyan God did not close the gap. Super Saiyan Blue didn't close the gap. And apparently Ultra Instinct didn't close that gap. What will close that gap? Someone tell me. Because it feels as if I'm being treated as someone who has the patience to wait. The patience to understand that, sure guys, look here. We're going to give you this little taste that Vegeta, right then, when Beerus told Vegeta it was his call to execute Planet Vegeta. So then Vegeta, wild up, was full power at his strongest form, which was Super Saiyan Blue. Charges at Beerus. Gets a good hit in just for Beerus to retaliate just like he did all the way back when Vegeta was Super Saiyan 2. Vegeta sure might have gotten a bit more respect but how far is respect going to carry to me as someone who's the audience someone who wants to see that my character has potential to eventually reach Beerus's level do I ever think that Goku and Beerus in the manga will ever be even close being on the same tier do I ever think Black Frieza is on the same tier as Beerus no I really don't think so Beerus in the manga is the goalpost that's so far away i don't even care anymore this manga has been going on for almost half a decade if i cannot feel like the heroes are gonna get any closer to reaching beerus's level an overpowered machine that just sucks the tension away in the more when master ultra instinct came out of nowhere and then we see that beerus had to leave so tell me Whis, beerus you guys have the combined power to eliminate any foe that ever threatens the earth you guys are not opposing the enemy but you're not opposing the allies you're a neutral party with the the overwhelming power to decide your own fate. In what way would that make it entertaining for me, for someone who likes Dragon Ball for the tension? You could make the argument there was never tension to begin with because the Dragon Balls can just reverse any damage ever done. But you look back on Dragon Ball Z, even if you didn't know what was going to happen, you can definitely believe that there was tension in there. But as long as Beerus is here, I don't believe there's ever going to be a real story. But now for the other continuations, by far Goku has surpassed them. The movie where Beerus told Whis that he had used 70% of his power on Super Saiyan God. That already confirms to me that if we were to take the anime continuation and relay that to the movie then blue kaioken at that point was on par with beerus so the movie continuation is already something that we don't have to look at then we go to the anime continuation where that is somewhat the true version because that is the version that most people have seen and in that continuation we have multiple claims on what level goku is at when beerus saw goku go super saiyan blue kaioken times 10 against hit he kind of freaked out a little bit he was afraid he mentioned to Whis saying that was he gonna use this against me and we elegant looked at Beerus and said, would that have been a problem? Beerus wanted to keep his image. Of course, no, that would never have been a problem. Then we jump forward to Goku's next power-up, which is Ultra Instinct. The form that got God of Destruction all over the universes to stand up, to acknowledge as one mortal as the Saiyan that has surpassed the gods. In a form
form that God of Destruction even struggle to attain. The tournament wraps up and the anime continuity stops because then we go to Dragon Ball Super Broly where they only primarily use the manga as their main source. No Blue Kaioken here. No Ultra Instinct here. In Super Broly, everything that happened in the manga is what's happening in the movie. That's the new continuity they're using because they know if they were using the same continuity that they were using in the anime, Goku would easily have been stronger than Beerus. All the foreshadowing, all the explanations, all the little subliminal hints that Beerus was giving us. The anime continuity being my favorite continuity because it feels as if if at the end they gave us a fight between Beerus and Ultra Instinct Goku, I actually think that fight would have been even. I don't think there would have been some hyped up bullshit to tell me that Beerus was going to win. I think either it was going to end in a draw or I think it was going to end with Goku winning. You can't keep Beerus around taunting us. That was the start of modern day Dragon Ball and it's still around to let us know that as far as Goku may go, he's never going to surpass where he started against Beerus. And the manga continuity is the main continuity that we're going to be living with as the series continues and if the day would have ever happened when Goku and Beerus were going to fight again, I'd like to say too little too late. I got fan animations to carry me through. So that's my problem with Beerus. And speaking of problems, if you have a problem with Spark and Zero, then you probably experienced one of these glitches that I reviewed in my Dragon Ball Spark and Zero glitch video. Until next time, thank you for watching, you guys. Stay safe and peace.